As the insane year that is 2022 draws to a close, we get one gift to wrap everything up. Last minute shopping, huh? Yeah. Over a decade after the first film, James Cameron finally released Avatar 2 this month, and you know what? What's that? I liked Avatar The Way of Water a lot more than I liked the first one. This is the second of what's going to be James Cameron's magnum opus set in Pandora, and I really felt like you really got to know the main characters in this movie. When I watched the first Avatar film, I didn't really care all that much for any of the main characters involved. I actually really liked Jake Sully and Atiri's children, played by Sam Worthington and Zoe Saldana respectively. I think I actually prefer them more than their parents. There's also a human boy called Spider who Jake keeps on stating is not part of their family but more like a stray cat that comes around whenever he pleases and plays with the Sully children. That's all the plot I'm going to give you as we don't want to get too deep into spoiler territory. And that's perfectly fine because I have to say that the plot in this movie is very much an afterthought. I'll go into all of that in a few seconds but what I will say is that when it comes to the movie's performances, Zoe Saldana does a lot of heavy lifting in Avatar The Way of Water. She's brilliant as usual and I would have liked to have seen her get a little bit more screen time in the film. I still think that Jake Sully is an incredibly dull lead character. That said, I don't really think he and Nateria are considered lead characters anymore by James Cameron and the movie's writers. They seem more interested in Kiri, played by Sigourney Weaver, Loak, played by Britton Dalton, and the other Sully children. I also think that Spider is going to play a very important part in the future films. We're going to have to wait and see how this all pans out, because it looks like James Cameron has plans to make about a billion more of these Avatar films. Oh yeah, what makes you see that? So, as I hinted at before, plot is very much secondary when it comes to these Avatar films. They're all about spectacle, and this movie looks amazing. However, I will also say that watching it in 3D is horrible. A three hour long 3D film is a headache inducing experience, and I really don't see the point of it all. Your mileage may vary though. I also think that during the action sequences, it makes everything look like a video game. I really felt like I was watching a cutscene from a game like God of War at times. It looks amazing, but it's distracting. Moreover, there were some shots that looked pretty wonky. It almost felt as though some of the scenes had been sped up slightly. Whether that was due to the high frame rate or not, I couldn't tell you. The thing is, I'm really nitpicking here because the movie does look incredible, but I would really highly recommend you try and seek this out in 2D and not 3D. Right, Avatar The Way of Water is a proper blockbuster. It's long amazing to look at with an incredible action-packed third act, but it's super thin on plot and any real character development. That said, I felt like there was more character development here than there was in the first film, especially with the Sully children. The underwater scenes are incredible. Pandora's biodiversity that Cameron and his team have created is mesmerizing, and I've never felt so much admiration for a whale-like creature since watching Free Willy. Admiral, there be whales here! I didn't really want to leave Pandora and I'm even thinking about re-watching the movie but this time in 2D. That very rarely happens to me. There's a lot to be impressed by when it comes to these Avatar films but I really feel as though writing isn't one of them. It's a shame but it's also something that James Cameron doesn't seem all that interested in which is I suppose fine. He wants us to gaze at the world he's created with our mouths wide open and that's exactly what I did when watching the movie. Kind of like what he did with Aliens which I talked about in this video that you can watch right here. And if you enjoyed this video on Avatar 2, make sure to check out our news and exclusives playlist. Thanks for watching, please leave a like, and see you next time.